Ah, yeah, so no worries. I'm in town at the moment, I'm blogging. So, I'm just having a walk around for a bit. Uh, yeah, and I just hope everybody's having a good day. Um, yeah. Six pound for a photo, that's ridiculous. No, I'm too big. Yeah, and so now I walk around for a bit. And uh, yeah. If you're out and about and you're in Blackburn, pay Casbar a visit on the bus station for for really good stuff. Cause I've always, you know, I've been there quite, a, quite uh, a few times. I started getting, I started getting bottles <coughs> from them because it's a lot easier. You get more in a bottle than you do in a can. But. Uh, some of the things you just uh, think so McDonald's Peter Jackson there you go that's the new Peter Jackson star now the old Peter Jackson store, they're, they're going to turn into something else. Matter of fact, they're going to smash the wall out at the back. They're going to smash the wall out at the back so that they can, uh, well, put some good stuff in there. Yeah, two jewellers back to back. So, just having a walk round and showing a few changes. Because what they're planning, I think what the pl the male is pl planning to do is put. Is put either another eatery here where where um, Clinton's used to be. I won't I won't be surprised if to do that. So I don't know if they're going to do that or if they're going to do something completely, totally different. I don't know why they're advertising Eve because Eve doesn't have a premises on it on this side of town. Now there's a, now there's a, now they're advertising together housing. There you go, that's diff completely, totally different. Peter Jackson has now gone. I think... An eatery, I reckon this should be eateries. Get rid of... All that needs to happen now is for... Um, how can I put this? Um... get three to move and that'll be it this is a new shoe store which is another so so we say sole trader and to be truthful Yeah.
is a sole trader. I don't know why the mall is la allowing these people in, but it goes to show that the mall is getting desperate, getting desperate for tenants. Because to be truthful, if I were the mall, I wouldn't let them in. I wouldn't let them in at all because it makes the, uh, to be truthful, it makes the mall look bad. But having empty units makes it look bad. Um, yeah, that's all I can say about it. What I would do with a lot of the empty, empty shops down here, I'd repurpose them. Yeah. I'd repurpose them. I'd basically, I'd basically, you know, I'd basically, uh, I'd basically repurpose them, maybe turn them into flats. I would basically turn them into flats. That's what I'd do. There's a dance. There's a dance studio, fitness studio above the Halifax. That's uh, hang on. Let's have a look. One goes up. It goes up three floors. That goes up three... That would go up three floors. You can't see the third floor because it's balconied off. But... That... That, if you got... If you got... Uh, thing... That would make... That would make a hell of a lot of good flats. I really do fit I really do think that. Um, there are a lot of unused upper floors on some of these pl some of these places that are completely totally empty. Um, really some of these some of these premises should be paying not not just single council tax single rates i reckon if these places are left empty i think they should be made to be forced to pay double rate because that you know is a place that could be utilized for either someone to live in or flats. Now, what I'm gonna gonna so what I'm gonna so no worries. Going to going to uh, think if they've got anything in. I'll pause the video here for now.